The anti-smoking coalitions in the state are welcoming the governor's support for expanding the state tobacco tax to include e-cigarettes and flavored vaping products aimed at young smokers. Capitol correspondent Tim Skubik is here for you now with more on this proposed legislation. The state of Michigan is now spending some $5 billion a year on tobacco smoking related health care issues. And a bipartisan package has now been introduced to reduce those costs by expanding the state tax on cigarettes to include e-cigarettes and flavored vaping products so popular with young smokers. 62% of the state are saying yes to that. What about the governor on expanding the tax? If something like that was something the legislature wanted to send to my desk, I'd have a conversation with him about it. I'm open to it. Tim, get the bill drafted, get it turned in and, you know. We'll negotiate. So having the governor on board is a huge step. Does it add momentum to your effort? Absolutely. Mr. Steiner argues if you make the products more expensive... Many kids will either stop using or just even better not start using in the first place, uh, saving uh, many, many lives over the year over the coming years. The package would also hike the regular tobacco tax on every smoker in the state, which would... It would encourage almost 50,000 Michigan smokers to quit smoking, um, could lead to up to a 12% decrease in youth smoking. But similar efforts in other states have been fiercely fought by the tobacco industry, which has been successful in watering down this legislation. Governor Whitmer has fought the industry before, and she appears ready to join this anti-smoking coalition to do it again. Here for you in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.